Miss McPhail will be scaling the root surface of number nine with a Gracie 1-2 area specific curette. Since she is a right-handed clinician, she will position herself at the nine o'clock for the surface towards her, or the mesial in this case, and at the 12 o'clock when she is gonna scale the distal of number nine, as that would be a surface away from her. She will first select the correct working end to scale the mesial of number nine by identifying the side of the instrument that tilts towards the two surfaced when placed against the midline of the facial. The incorrect working end would be seen if the face tilts away from the two surface when placed against the midline of the facial. So we're gonna establish the correct edge. She's holding her instrument in a modified pen grasp and has a secure fulcrum. She will gently slide the instrument under the gums at the midline of number nine, hugging the root of the tooth at a zero degree angulation. As long as the cutting edge is in contact with the root, the clinician does not have to worry about angulation as Gracie curettes are self-angled at 70 degrees. This allows for effective removal of deposits without tissue trauma. Her initial stroke is in a coronal direction and she will use short, controlled, overlapping strokes along the root, never removing the instrument from the pocket, but keeping the cutting edge in contact with the tooth at all times. She rolls the handle along the mesial facial line angle as she root planes along the facial towards the mesial, utilizing a wrist rock technique instead of finger motion. She will root plane into the interproximal and under the mesial contact, applying appropriate lateral pressure the whole time. Now to scale the distal surface of number nine, she will completely remove the instrument from the pocket. She'll flip the instrument handle around in her hand so she is now using the opposite side. She will begin her first insertion at the midline once again and gently slide the instrument under the gums to the base of the pocket hugging the root at a zero degree angulation. The initial stroke is in a coronal direction and she will use short controlled overlapping strokes along the root, never removing the instrument from the pocket, but keeping the cutting edge in contact with the tooth at all times. She rolls the handle along the distal facial line angle as she root planes along the facial towards the distal, utilizing a wrist rock technique. She root planes into the interproximal and under the distal contact, applying appropriate lateral pressure the entire time.